Hello everybody, this is Darla. I know I haven't been here for a minute, but I wanted to go over the last four essential oils on my mini series about uh, essential oils you need for your home. So let's get to it. I decided to include the last four essential oils for my little mini series, and that is rosemary, thyme, lemon, and clove. And I decided to do this because I kind of want to wrap up this little series and get it, you know, so I can go on to other things. Also, the last four are essential oils to me that are used for the same purposes. Rosemary and thyme are a stimulant. And lemon could be slightly sedative. You know, it could kind of relax you. You know, we, we think about lemon as being uplifting. And it is. It is uplifting. But rosemary and thyme are two of the items you have in your kitchen cabinet probably. They go with vegetables and meats. It enhances the flavor. But rosemary really enhances our senses and it, it really helps to calm us down. So to me, rosemary is a good item to have because even if you you're physically going through a stressful event say you're I don't know like I'm, I'm redoing my yard my yard is needs it's overgrown it needs to be redone the weather's cooler and I look at it and I think oh my god there's so much that I have to do it's overwhelming but by taking smelling rosemary a kind of calm my mind down where I can say okay let me do a little section at a time you know, it helps you to uh, get through stressful times. And I think these last four essential oils are very good. Like thyme is another very good one as far as helping you to get through a flu or cold. These four essential oils, to me, help in recovery of being under the weather. And I say that because I, I know a lot of people now, because whatever reason, they don't want to get a vaccine. And they find themselves being infected with the virus and being sick. These four essential oils, to me, help you get through a crisis as COVID. COVID is stressful. If I got COVID, I would be so stressed out that I was going to die from it or it was going to damage me so badly that when I did come out of it, I'd be crippled somehow. I mean, it's been shown that this virus is very powerful and could do a lot of damage. But these essential oils, rosemary, thyme, lemon, and clove are very powerful essential oils to combat the effects of flu-like symptoms. I didn't say it, it cures it. I didn't say it'll prevent it. It'll help you get through flu-like symptoms. And COVID is definitely a flu-like symptom with uh, many more side effects. And you're not going to get any side effects from these essential oils. Now, all of these essential oils have pretty much the basic properties. You know, they're antiseptic, antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, and antimicrobial, which covers a wide range of antis, <laughs> pretty much. Now, rosemary is, to me, uplifting. It's just stimulating. You can smell rosemary when you're going through a bad day, I used to put it in my bath at the end of the work day, and it would just relax me, lifts you up, takes all that garbage out of your mind, lets you concentrate better, 
you know, to get through crisis, whether it's fatigue crisis from overworking or if it's just mental crisis that comes from trying to figure out your budget or where your next paycheck's coming from. It's Those are very stress, stressful times, excuse me. But these four essential oils would be great if you came down with the COVID. I make a honey tea and with my essential oils. And what I do is I take the honey and I put it in a cup and then I add my like thyme. I love red thyme for the flu. It's a little bit stronger than the regular thyme. I would add thyme and lemon to that honey. Then you add your hot water that gives you your honey tea and you drink that and I have used that combination for years. I mean, I haven't gotten sick in years, but before the pandemic, if I came down with flu-like symptoms or cold, stuffy nose, sinus infection problems, this was my go-to. I would make a thyme tea to drink. Everybody I know in my family that would get sick, that's what they would drink, is the thyme tea, lemon tea. So thyme is, uh, to me, very strong to handle these viruses and bacteria that comes. Thyme is a powerful, powerful antiseptic, antiviral, antibacterial, and antimicrobial. They're great for infections. It's great for the immune system. It stimulates it. Which you know when you're sick, you need your immune system to get up and going so it can fight these viruses. And rosemary is the same way. You know, rosemary is good for headaches, stress. You know, there's other things that these these items cover like hair care or skin care. You could always make potions to take care of that. It's good for acne. But you got to remember a lot of this stuff like ringworm and acne and all this stuff that's on your skin are little viruses or bacteria that, you know, affects our skin and our skin maybe for some reason can't fight those. This is, these four are great for skin care. Clove to me is also great for anything in your mouth, teeth, gums, cold sores. And it's kind of like cinnamon. It's very strong and it numbs. Wherever you touch it, it'll numb that up where you can kind of maybe get through the pain till you get to a dentist or, or whatever. But it's a great item to use for your mouth, gum disease, and like that. Like I said, clove is a pain relief. It's good for bacterial infections, fungal infections, viral skin infections, warts, toothaches I mentioned. It's good for muscular pain, the flu. All of these bronchitis, all of these cover the flu and the symptoms that come with flu. And these four, the last four essential oils are the greatest oils, I believe, for flu-like symptoms. It'll help your mental stress, your, your physical stress. It'll help you get through so you have a clear mind to get through these. So, you know, stress just brings out more situations that you don't need. Stress is something that we need to get rid of because there's so many causes that affect you by being stressed. And, you know, like I said, these four essential oils, and they're, they're inexpensive for, you know, a bottle this size. This here is lavender, my famous lavender I always keep handy. So you're talking $5 for rosemary, maybe $8 for thyme, $11 for lemon, uh, $5 for clove. You know, they're 
under $20. So if you bought all of these, say they're $10 a piece, you're, you're paying $40 for some powerful essential oils to help you get through this crazy cri crisis we're going through, either mentally, physically, or if you do catch the COVID, you know, oils like this is what can kind of help you get through it. They're going to, they're, they're powerful. They're really powerful. And, you know, we've used these oils for a long time. Everybody's used lemon. They love lemon when they clean their house. They use rosemary and thyme to cook. Clove is another one that you use to cook with. We're familiar with these items. What we're not familiar with is how effective they can be in a flu-like situation. You need all the help you could get. And I love these essential oils. I surround myself with them. I'm always putting it on my hands. I'm always smelling it. I take eucalyptus. I got this right here in my bedroom. And this is a powerful you know, essential oil, especially when I've been out and about. When I come home, I smell this. Lemon is the only one that may be a little sedative, you know, it might, because it calms you. Lemon, you know, when you smell lemon, you're like, oh, lemon, you know, it's like refreshing. It'll calm you down. But most of these are stimulants. That's why they're great for the flu, because it keeps you stimulated, your mind unconfused, and your immune system, it keeps it strong. I know this mini series was kind of all over the place. This was the first time I, I did try to <laughs> do this little mini series. It's something I love doing. So with that, if you like my program, you like what I'm talking about, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate if you would subscribe. And if you do subscribe, you hit the notification button and, you know, you'll get notified, hopefully, when I upload a new video. I'm going to have quite a few little series going on here. I'll be on my YouTube channel a little bit more. But I wanted to kind of finish this one up. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. And I'll talk to you later, alligator. Bye. I get so tongue-tied when I talk because, you know, you get fake teeth and you got it talking, your whole thing changes. <laughs> so I apologize if I sound a little goofy, you know, like I said. Uh... But this book here is the book. This is the book. All right. Bye.